When we're always trying to navigate between what is our projection, including narrative projections, uh, just coming out, out of our subjective needs, and what may be a, an accurate perception or disclosure of, uh, of something that exists beyond our narrow needs and subjectivity. And I think the, um, if we recognize that we are always seeing symbolically, we are always making sense of reality through our maps, through our myths, through our uh, patterned meaning, capacity for meaning. But as Robert Bella put it, the great uh, sociologist and historian, he said, all we have finally are symbols, whether they're scientific symbols or religious symbols or, or uh, uh, literary, uh, uh, mythic. All we have finally are symbols, but there is an enormous difference between the dead letter and the living word. And at that moment, um, Bella's opening us up to beyond that kind of hyper-skeptical potential that's in the postmodern mind of just seeing everything's just another story, it's just another fabrication of our subjective patterning, and recognizing that there's a difference between the dead letter and the living word. What we require is a constant negotiation between uh, what Gregory Bateson called rigor and imagination. Uh, or what Robert Bella called, he said, we need to be constantly translating between different scientific and imaginative vocabularies, recognizing that no one understanding, no one paradigm, no one interpretation of reality is reality itself, so that we are constantly open to the possibility of a rebirth and a new heaven and a new earth by not getting locked into that literalistic, univocal sense that my uh, current interpretation of reality is reality itself. And that's the, that's the challenge that we as a, as a civilization have today, where a certain hyper-confident rationalism has forgotten that it's one interpretation of a much faster mystery. And while that interpretation has great power as our modern industrial technological civilization is, is a testament to. It may be uh, a lot of knowledge from a very limited perspective and therefore a rather dangerous thing if it is not contextualized in a, in a larger frame of reference, a larger narrative that is open to a greater mystery.